Hello everyone. In this video, we'll start putting the core of each function. Function. In this case, we have just two functions, so we will put the core of each function. Actually, for this function, for example, we have already the core, which is this one, which is this one. This is the core of that function because the function that we'll talk is this one, which will take the PDF and convert it to a text, and after that, convert it to audio and say it. So, what we need. Just what we have to change in this fun in this part, which is this core that we will put in that function, is the path because this function or this part works just with one path, which is this one book point PDF. But if we want to, uh, because we want we want we want to create a program or a application that will opens and uh, converts any PDF, which means, for example, if we, today I want to. Uh, listen to a book or PDF and tomorrow I want to listen to another one So in this case, I don't want to go in each time and go here and change the path or something like that But I want that I because for that we put uh, the button uh, Open that will go and take the path of the PDF that we want to listen and put it here in our program So as you can see here This part is the part of uh, is the core of this function which is talk but before that we have to return the path so we will do that using this uh, this uh, class which is or this class which is include, included sorry in tkinter library so this file dialog will help us to open a file dialog and after that we will choose a uh, file and that function will return the path of that pdf or something like that we will do it uh, step by step don't worry about it now here we have to declare a path but we have to put it as global why because if we will put a just a uh, variable inside this function means that this variable is uh, defined in this function but if we want to use it uh, enter or uh, uh, if we want to use it in another function or another uh, space or i don't know <laughs> for example if we want to use it in this script or something like this this path or this variable will not be defined so because it is just for that function but if we want to if we create it as a global variable in this case it will be a it will be defined in any function or any script so here we'll give it the name global the we'll give it global then here we give it the name path and before that i want to initialize it but we don't want we don't want to initialize it inside the function because if we don't if we don't call the function the variable will not be initialized so we have to initialize it uh, out of the function so here we have path equal none none means that it is empty that it has nothing as value value so here after uh, initial after creating and initializing the variable we have to put the right value on it so here we have path equal file dialog that ask for open file name so this function ask open file name will open for us a uh, file dialog so after this file dialog we can choose any file we want then all this line will, re will return the path of the file chosen so in this case we will return the path of the pdf chosen or the pdf that we want to listen so now it is okay for this function we don't need to add some, anything we will just save it and see how it looks here here our application if i will click in open you can see that it will open sorry there is a problem here but here and open we run it again Why it is not working? But I, uh, sorry, I forget the parentheses. I always do that because this one is a function. So if I don't add the parentheses, it, it will not recognize that it is a function. So we have to add it. Now I have this one. I have to close it to open the new one. So this one here, if I will click in open, it will open for us this file dialog. So we can choose any uh, file we want. So for example, this is the PDF that we want. So if I will click on it two times, it will open it. But for this moment, we can't see it because we didn't do anything with that. But if we want to see how it looks, we will just print it. So here I will print this path. So we'll see the, 
what this function will return now I will click in open book as you can see here this is my PC then here we have doc document and audio then uh, audio book then the name of the PDF which is book.pdf okay so this is the, that's what we what this function returns so I will just close this one now what we have to do we have to use this part for our uh, program which is this one so we will just take this one here command C or control C if you are in Windows then we'll paste it here now we have to put the space so it will be in the core of the function talk so now as you can see we have always this uh, this part or this uh, constant part but we want to make it variable for each uh, file dialog or for each file chosen so here what we need to do is to put, to put the path here now we have yes this one path and this is the variable value so we will try it and we will see how it looks there is some changes that we need to do for that i will just run it to see how it look and how it works but after that we will change it so here i will click in open i will take this part for example and i will take clock talk sorry as you can see we can't we can see nothing for the moment because we didn't initialize our path so there is another problem because we didn't add the other function that will speak because here we have speak that say but we need to add the function that will that will run this speaker so here we have speaker that run this one function now you will see that it will work like this here if i will open the pdf book like this and talk Abstract three as abstract see, it follows from resource scarcity that, that some form of healthcare ration is that we chosen unavoidable. This it, implies just, that potential just stop it for a moment. Now as you can see it works, but there is a problem. For example, if we don't click in this button, which means if we don't choose any PDF. So this function what what does it have for a path or as a file? It has nothing because this path is empty and it will give us an error. We we'll do it here so that you can see if I don't click in open which means if I don't choose any PDF I will just click in talk so we will see that we will have a problem here if I will click in talk we have an error here because that uh, type uh, th that variable path doesn't have uh, has the value uh, empty which is none at the first so we can that is we, we don't know we don't have any path that has the value none so in this case we have to and a if statement to see if the, the value of path is empty or not so if the value of uh, path is empty we don't want to run this program so we don't want to have an errors but if the the path has a value in this case we want to run it so to do this we have just to take all this here sorry just here and command x then we will add if path and that's it because we can write if path equal three uh, equal true sorry or something like this but this, the easiest way is if path which means if path is true if we write it just like this if path means if the path is not uh, empty or something like this then here we will put our program now we need to make space here not you like this now what we have to do we if we run our program i will show you here now if i will click in talk without clicking on this button you can see that there is no error here but if i will click in open in this case i can choose any pdf and talk and abstract talk. three abstract it follows from resource scarcity that some form okay. of healthcare rationing is okay thank you unavoided okay as you can see here this is the program that we want it is great but there is something that we didn't talk about that we didn't add actually so which is the page the get page because in this case it will always take the page number six we had we had add that we have the right to change any book we want but we have always the page six but if i want to make even the number of the page variable which means in in every time I want to read the book for example I want to read the first page or second page etc so in this case I have always to put the name or the number of this page the page that, we, that I want sorry 
So for that we had we we added this uh, entry. What is it? Box box. This one. This one, title the box, uh, page box, sorry. So this entry will take the number of pages because here we have the application. Here we have the application. So this entry will take that uh, number of pages that we want. So we will take or we will get the text or the number that we have in this entry and we put it in our function. And you will see that it is easy to do that. Here we have to take it. So here we have page and uh, I will give it n page n for page number then here <coughs> then here we will give it we will take it or we will get the number that we have in that page so here what we have the entry which is page number box that one that get this one so this variable page uh, page n will get the name from that entry so but then we will have the same problem if we don't write any number of uh, or if we don't choose any page of the book in this case there is nothing to do so in this case we have to put a here we have to add it in the condition which means if there is no type or there is no uh, number of the page in this case we can't run anything because we didn't chase or we didn't we didn't uh, choose or take or notice the name or the, the number of the page that we want to read so here we have to put add which means if the path is true and if the page number is defined so if we have chosen the path and we have uh, chosen the page of the we have chosen the number of the page that we want to listen or to read in this case you can run this program but here we have six is constant but we know that we want to put this variable which is page and this one so in this case in every time we put the number of the page in that entry it will take it and see the condition if this number is, is true but if I will run it just like this we will have a problem I will show you how it will look I am just doing this so that you can see what is the problem maybe you are not a programmer and you don't need this but sorry i just want to give you all the the ways or all the errors or something like this the issues that you can find so that if you are doing your program and you will find some issues in some sometimes in this case you will know where is the problem etc okay so here if i will just open i will open the pdf like this this one and if i will put here talk it will it will it will talk it won't talk sorry for the talk it won't talk as you can see because we didn't define any name of uh, we didn't define the the number of page here okay because here as you can see we had page and read file and here we have get page but we didn't give it the number of the page so that it can uh, it can't read because uh, it will read what we didn't give it the page but the error will be in this step for example if i will give it the page six at the same page that we had before if if we see that you, you can you can say that yes there is the number six and it will talk so i will open it again for example i will open this book it's already opened but i just want to do it again now if i will click in talk you will see that there is an error here here so this error why because the entry will return a string variable which means we have, we can see that it is six it is a number but the type of this six is a string but this function take don't doesn't take the strings but take the and the integers integers sorry so we have to convert this uh, variable from the string to integer and it is easy i will just close this one for the moment now what we have to do we have to click int then like this that's it we have to convert the uh, that image or sorry that not image that variable or that number from a string to an integer and now it will work you will see we'll do it again here for example we give it six and i will open the book this one then here I abstract will... three abstract it follows from resource scarcity that some form of healthcare rationing is unavoidable this implies that okay. potential ally benefit so as you can see this is our application and this is the program that we need as you can see it is very easy 
we have to do all the steps step, step by step even if you have never done or you have never used python so as you can see you have just simple lines to open the pdf and simple lines to make it audio and here we have this lines to create the application step by step and after that we have just to put the core of this this uh, function talk which is which will do all the work so this is if we want to make more changes maybe you want to change the voice or maybe you want to change the speed or something like that it's up to you and you can do anything you want for the moment this is the basic project and i hope to see your trying if i want you to try this application and i want to see it in my class project so i want you to to try any I, I don't want to I don't want you to do the same thing for example for the colors or something like that like this but I want to see if you, you are able to do this I, ha I know that you are able to do this so I just want you to share with me what you will find and you, what you will get at the end of this course and I hope to see all your uh, projects in the project uh, part and I see you in the next class bye